Hi there, it's Tyler from Nelly Security, and in today's video, we're going to be talking all about NVR hard drive storage. Exactly how much storage do you need, and what are some best practices for us to get the most out of the storage space that's available to us? Well, we're about to find out. So, how much hard drive storage do you need for your NVR? Well, here's the short answer. For four 2 megapixel security cameras recording continuous 24-7 video, a 500 gigabyte hard drive will get you just under one week's worth of recordings. For four 4 megapixel security cameras recording continuous 24-7 video, 1.2 terabytes of hard drive storage will get you to one week. And for four 4K security cameras recording continuous 24-7 video, you will need about two and a half terabytes of storage to get to one week. Now again, this is the short answer, so we are assuming a couple of things. First, we're assuming that you're following the recommended video settings on our website. Second, we're also assuming that you're using the standard H.264 video codec. A variety of other factors can also influence your storage space, so just use these numbers as a general guide and take this with a grain of salt. But stick with me here because I'm about to share with you some information that is going to blow those numbers out of the water. All right, now let's get into the long answer. And if you're still with me here, you might wanna pause this video and go grab yourself a cup of coffee because we are about to get nerdy. In fact, hold on just a second. Ah, okay, now I'm ready. Now the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and open that link in the description below. This is going to take us to this handy dandy height vision calculator for determining how much disk space we need for how many cameras we have. And this is the exact tool that I used for determining the numbers that I shared with you earlier. So we can come in here and we can add a new camera. We can say we want four of these cameras recording at H.264 at a resolution of eight megapixels at let's say 15 frames per second and this gives us the bitrate of 8192, which if you remember those video settings I told you about earlier, this is the bitrate that we recommend for 4K cameras. Hey guys, it's Tyler from a few days later. As I was editing this video, I did realize that I left the video standard on PAL the entire time. This is actually the broadcast standard for European countries. Here in the United States, I should have used the NTSC standard, which stands for National Television Standards Committee. There are a few minor differences between the two, but nothing that affects storage space. So just keep in mind, the information that follows is true whether you are in Europe using PAL or in the United States using NTSC. All right, back to the video. We can say that we are recording 24 hours a day and we want to save footage for one week. And again, we're going to need 2.4 terabytes of storage to make this happen. Now, if we weren't recording continuously, if we were only recording based on events or motion detection, we could drag this down maybe to about 12 hours a day. And you can see that we only need a little more than one terabyte to keep one week's worth of footage. So go ahead and fill this in for the cameras that you have or the cameras that you want. And this will give you kind of an idea of what kind of storage that you're going to need in your NVR. I'm now going to show you how we can get this number down to 500 gigabytes without changing any of these settings here. And this is the part of the video where I talk your ear off about video compression. Without getting super in depth, what we need here is a coder that's going to take our video information and condense it to a manageable file size. Then we need a decoder to decompress that file size and interpret the information there for playback with as little quality loss as possible. So we need a video coder and decoder, a video codec. The amount of video data a codec encodes in one second is known as bitrate, measured in kilobits or megabits per second. The bitrate is going to be crucial here for our purposes because the higher bitrate you have, the more storage space that takes up, but the higher quality it is as well. On the flip side, the lower the bitrate, the lower the quality, and the less amount of space it takes up. All right, enough theory, let's take this to our security cameras. So here we have these four eight megapixel or 4K security cameras set up at a bit rate of 8,192. As I change this frame rate, let's say we want 50 frames per second, that's gonna bump that up to a bit rate of 32,000. Just because we have more frames per second, we have more data that we're interpreting. The higher bit rate is going to mean higher quality video, but we're going to need 9.3 terabytes of hard drive space. If we bring this bit rate all the way down to 2048, 
which is the bit rate that we recommend for two megapixel cameras, 590.7 gigabytes. If we go ahead and change this resolution to two megapixel with a frame rate of 15 frames per second, 590.7. Now I am about to share with you the most important piece of information for you to take away from this video. Bit rate is the only setting that matters when it comes to determining how much hard drive storage space you're going to need for your cameras. Let me say that one more time just to make sure you understood. Bit rate is the only setting that affects hard drive space. If I want to change this to 12 megapixels, I can keep this at 2048. Boom, 590.7 gigabytes. The problem is, if we record this huge 12 megapixel video with a bit rate of 2048 kilobits per second, that video is going to look like a butt cheese. But there is a way for us to take this 8 megapixel 4K camera, set the bit rate to 2048, and not lose any quality at all. The setting that we are going to play with now is this encoding mode. You can see that we're set to H264, which, as I said earlier, is the standard video codec. And that's true. But H.264 was developed back in the early 2000s when Full HD 1080p was in its prime. But I have to share a little secret with you today. It's not 2003 anymore. I mean, if you haven't heard, we're selling 4K cameras at NellySecurity.com for only $79.99. This is the future. The days of H.264 are behind us. And sure, the rest of the world might be stuck in the past, but you and I, we're security professionals. We are not satisfied with the status quo. We like to stay ahead of the technological curve, and there is a new video codec in town, and that is H265. H.265 is not nearly as widespread as H.264. You can find this codec in Blu-ray players, and yeah, that's about it. But, but, H.265 is twice as efficient as H.264. Now, remember bitrate? The amount of data encoded in a single second. The bigger the bitrate, the higher the quality, the larger the file size. Well, H.265 can process larger chunks of data than H.264 can. This lets us encode a video at the same quality as H.264 at half the bitrate, meaning half the file size. So this means with H.265, let's go back to 8 megapixels and a frame rate of 15. We can now bring our bitrate down to 4096 and not lose any quality. What this means is we've taken our hard drive space down from 2.4 terabytes to 1.2 terabytes. Boom. That's pretty crazy, and now you can see why H.265 is such a big deal. Now I will warn you, before you go and change all your cameras to H.265, even though you will save a ton of storage space with this video codec, it's not nearly as widely compatible as H.264. Remember, H.264 is used pretty much everywhere, so when you export your video, you will be able to do more with it if it was recorded with H.264. If it's recorded in H.265, you might run into some compatibility issues. So it's totally up to you. If your video is going to be staying on your hard drive and you're not really going to be exporting it or doing a whole lot with it, then you might want to go ahead and switch this to H.265 just so you can take advantage of the storage space that you have. But wait, there's more. Remember, I told you there was a way for us to bring this bitrate for our 4K cameras all the way down to 2048 without losing any quality. We're only halfway there. H.265 might be the most advanced video codec for the general public, but we're not the general public. We're security professionals. If you give us a 50% increase in efficiency, we're going to ask for a 75% increase in efficiency. And that's exactly what we have here with our H-series cameras and also with our Uniview cameras. If we click on this encoding mode one more time, you can see that we do have this option available to us, H.265+. This is Hike Vision's own video compression technology that builds off of the H.265 codec and makes that even more efficient. If you switch your cameras to H.265+, you will find that some of your features have been limited. However, if you're okay with that, H.265+, can cut our bitrate in half again. That means as we take this back down to 8 megapixels, back to 15 frames per second, we now have a bitrate of 2048 kilobits per second, which takes up 590 gigabytes on our hard drive for continuous 24-7 recording of a 4K camera. That is incredible. There's also a setting on our Uniview cameras called U-Code. Now U-Code has a basic setting and an advanced setting. U-Code Basic is more efficient than H.265, but not quite as efficient as H.265+. U-Code Advanced is about the same as H.265+, and would allow us to record 4K video 
at a bitrate of 2048 without losing any quality. So why would someone choose Ucode Basic over Ucode Advanced, you ask? The difference is Ucode Basic works only in the Uniview camera. So if you have a Uniview camera connected to maybe an H-Series NVR, you could still take advantage of that incredible video compression technology. However, Ucode Advanced takes a Uniview NVR and a Uniview camera and allows them to work together to produce this video compression magic. So if you do have a camera and an NVR that are both Uniview, you can switch on this Ucode Advanced and bring your bitrate down to 2048 kilobits per second, maintain that incredible 4K quality and reduce that storage space by 75%. <sighs> All right. Take a breath, pause this video, let that sink in, go back and rewatch parts if you need to. But now that we've covered all that information, let's ask this question one more time. How much hard drive storage space do I need? For four two megapixel security cameras shooting continuous 24 seven video in an H.264 codec, 500 gigabytes of storage will get you five days worth of footage. Shooting in the H.265 codec, 500 gigabytes of storage will get you 11 days worth of footage and at the H.265 Plus or Ucode Advanced, 500 gigabytes of storage will get you 23 days worth of footage. With four four megapixel security cameras and a two terabyte hard drive, you can have 11 days of footage encoded with H.264. With H.265 and two terabytes, you can have 23 days worth of footage. And with H.265 Plus or Ucode Advanced, you can have 47 days worth of footage stored on a two terabyte hard drive or 11 days worth of storage stored on 500 gigabytes. That's crazy. And now for our 4K cameras, on a two terabyte hard drive, you can have H.264 video recorded for five straight days. You can have H.265 video recorded for 11 straight days on a two terabyte hard drive. And you can have H.265 Plus or Ucode Advanced video recording for 23 straight days on a two terabyte hard drive. So there it is. Take that, use this calculator tool and play around with it so you can figure out exactly how much storage you're going to need for your cameras and for how much footage you're going to want to save. Now that you know exactly how much storage space you're going to need, let me share with you a few tips for getting the most out of that storage space. First and foremost, you don't need to leave your cameras recording 24 seven because that's really gonna eat up your hard drive space fast. We can reduce these numbers even more and save a ton of footage on our hard drive space just by turning on event-based or motion-based recording. Granted, if you do this, you do run the risk of missing something on your security camera, so be sure to play around with the sensitivity to make sure your security camera is picking up as much motion as possible. Something else you could do is implement a recording schedule. This way, you can have the camera recording 24 seven during important high traffic times of the day, and you can leave it on motion-based or event-based recording during less trafficy hours, such as throughout the night. If you're still worried about missing some important footage with your security camera, here's another tip. If your camera has a micro SD card slot, go ahead and stick a memory card in there, 32 gigs, 64 gigs, then set that camera to constant recording at a very low resolution and low frame rate. You won't be able to get the best video out of that, but you will have a backup if you happen to miss something on your NVR. You could have up to two or three days of constant recording on that SD card alone. Next, you might wanna check the frame rate of your camera. If your camera is recording at 25, 30, or even 60 frames per second, it's gonna be super smooth and beautiful to the human eye. And in some situations, this 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second is very necessary. However, if this is just a standard security camera that's a part of a standard surveillance system, you don't necessarily need 24 or 30 frames per second video, depending on the kind of video that you're wanting to get out of your camera. Less frames per second means less information, less data to encode, and you can pull back that bit rate even more without losing any quality. Any quality? Inequality? Another tip is to leave your security cameras on variable bitrate and not constant bitrate. This will allow your camera to decide when to use the max bitrate you've allotted and when it can pull back on that bitrate and still produce high quality video. For instance, if there's absolutely no motion happening on the screen, your cameras can pull back on that bitrate saving you some storage space just because there's not as much information happening there. If on the other hand, you leave this on a constant bit rate, it's going to be taking up unnecessary storage space using a higher bit rate than is really necessary for most of the time. 
Make sure everything within the field of view of your security camera is important to you. So for instance, if you're trying to record your parking lot and there is a busy street on the side, see if there's a way for you to adjust that camera so that the traffic from that busy street is not constantly on the screen. If there's a lot of motion happening in our camera's field of view that we're just not interested in, our camera is going to be using more bit rate than is necessary to capture that movement. If we take the time to optimize our camera's position and aim it just right, we can save all that bit rate and all that storage space for motion that we are actually interested in recording. Well, I hope this video was helpful for you as you determine how much hard drive space you need for your NVR. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can send us an email, give us a call. We will be more than happy to help you out. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and click that bell so you don't miss another video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. 